Bentley, we've been sitting inside the safe house for the past four hours, and this guy has only gotten redder. I think this place is pretty weird. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we arrived in the city of Prague to help bust Sly and Murray out of the clink because, well, Neela betrayed us back in India and got both Sly, Murray, and Carmelita arrested on false charges. Well, I guess technically only Carmelita got arrested on the false charges. Sly and Murray are still career criminals, after all. Anyways, we got Sly out of the clink, however, Murray's not the lightest person on his feet, so we are gonna have to do a little extra workout in the city before we can actually bust him out as well. So for now, we're gonna head back out with Sly, because as you can see, every job here, all four of them, it requires just Sly to do. It makes sense, Bentley managed to get Sly out of the clink, so it's up to Sly to get Murray out. Now. There's something I need to make note of when it comes to the clue bottles and the treasure of this place. The clue bottles and the vault actually do not tie to any level or any mission inside this entire uh, level. It's the only one that actually does that, which is weird in one case, but it's not really something too bad. You can actually take your time while doing this so you don't have to keep going back and forth between levels. The other thing about the treasure of this place is that they are all located up in the prison itself. And now we're going to need to find ourselves a way to break into there. But for now, I'm just going to go around town and see if we can get as many clue bottles as we can. We only got 6 out of 30, so we got a bit of work ahead of us. I think to keep things consistent, we could go pay Murray a visit down in the big house so we can help him get into an easier place to rescue. And I feel like, oh, wait, I was wrong. There's actually five. The icons were just overlapping each other and hit it. Uh, one thing I like to do is do the bridge mission last. Just because it, it puts you in, like, a really bad spot afterwards. And it's a really easy chance for me to get attacked by guards. So I don't want to deal with that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'll go through this side of town, grab whatever clue bottles we can find, and then we'll head down to the underside of the prison so we can go help out Murray. Get out of here. I'm surprised that flashlight guard down there did not hear me fighting that guard up there, but all right. Uh, there is a bottle down there. I want to grab that real quick. Ooh! Let's like get up, 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 and I'm down. Thankfully, after busting Sly out of the prison, the train actually never makes an appearance ever again because I guess this was the only train to run in Prague. So the train tracks are basically safe to run on permanently now, and you, aside from the little pylons up there, you don't have to worry about getting electrocuted. Ooh, you got something on you. And I hear a clinking. Let me just... Let me just grab this treasure real quick. Ooh, silver. Take this guy out. Oh, that was actually a guard! Uh, that's one of the things I really hate about this level is that... Uh, the fact that... Yeah, guards disguise themselves as statues. Wow, these are really inept flashlight guards. Alright, there's a bottle right there. And I think there's a bottle... One up there. Hi. A bottle right there. A bottle up there. With really bad draw distance. I'm guessing that there's like a line that I need to run across. Kind of like what's going on right here. And I see a way to break into the prison. Oh, this is a run one, not a slide one. Eh, you know what? I might as well go grab the bottle that's over here. I think I'm going to grab whatever bottles I can out... In this area, I'm going to save doing the, the interior side of the prison for later. Wow, they reinforce this rooftop fast. I do not know how he saw me. Get out of here, jeez. All right. I think we need to climb onto this pole right here to actually get up there. The only other way I can see it is to actually climb up on the prison walls and then jump down onto the rooftop from over there. But if I do this, it saves me a lot of hassle. Oh, 
Oh, here's another way to break into the prison. Just swing my way onto the prison walls. I see a bottle down there, and I would rather grab that instead. I think this will be... Unless there's another bottle up here, which I don't think there is. There is that reinforcer over there. I want to see if I can actually grab his treasure before I move for the bottle. Nope, never mind. I'm getting into so many fights. I think this is the most fights I've gotten... And with guards in any of the episodes so far in this game. Ah, crap, of course. Oh, of course he's going this way. Unless there were two flashlight guards, which I doubt. Alright, so far we've got 12 out of 13. I think there are a couple bottles in the main, like, town area. So let's grab this guy's treasure real quick, and then we'll make our way over to the rooftops over here. Silver! Come on, you gotta give me something better than that, dude. Alright, no one heard that. So let's head up here. Every time I have gone past these wolf statues, it's always been a guard in disguise. And it always is! Man, there are so many disguised guards. I don't think there's been a single statue that's just been a statue. Take care of him. I think that is the last bottle in this area. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, these guys actually don't even need megaphones to call for guards. They can just do it on their own. That should do it for everything here, aside from that clue bottle up there. I just need to climb up onto this pole right here. I guess this might be a, a weird TV antenna, or just a, a weird pole that's on the top of these rooftops. Alright, now with that taken care of, we are a little under halfway done. So, let- ah, great. Really bad when it comes to avoiding guards in this area. Holy hell. Let's make our way down below the prison uh, walls to save the big guy. Or at least help out the big guy. Okay, Sly. In order to get Murray out, we'll need him to get thrown into solitary confinement. That pipe will lead you to his cell block. Try to locate him and relate the plan. After that, it's all up to Murray. All right, I'm headed inside. Hell you. Now, we could go in there to talk to Murray real quick, but I want to go over here because if you remember our first outing with Bentley, there was this bottle right here, and now we can get it. I could have risked it getting with Bentley, but I just really wanted to get through Bentley's segment because you are really vulnerable when you play as him the first time around through here. Hey, Murray! Huh? Sly? Where are you? Over here, in the back wall. Sly! Oh, I'm so glad to see you. They've been forcing me to eat meals covered in spice. And I'm feeling kind of strange. You gotta get me out of here. No problem. Bentley seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement cell. If you can get in a big enough fight, the guards will throw you in there. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Well, if you say so, I suppose a powerful force like the Murray could take down 50 foes, if I had to. Excellent. You beat the snot out of 50 of those guys, and Bentley and I will take care of the rest. All right, seems easy enough. Now I could go out there and beat up the guards, or I could just stay and enjoy this nice cell. It's, it's got its perks, it's got a bed. Very painful to sleep on bed, but still. It's got toiletries, it's got hygienics, it's not too bad. Of course, now that I say that, I'm breaking everything. Yeah, but yeah, so long as you stay inside here, the guards actually won't attack you, which is a nice thing, even though you are within line of sight of him, I could think. Maybe his patrol pattern is just too far away that he doesn't even notice you. 
Either way, let's make our way out here and let's get into a big house brawl. In your face. There are so many good things. I actually really do enjoy this mission as much as I do not like this episode. This is one of my favorite missions in it because, well, you, you get the beat up guards, you get to use the traps inside the prison, which I don't know why there are spike floors or in this case, a laser defense system inside a prison, but all right, whatever, it makes my job easier. I never got uh, the guards uh, swinging their mace around like that. It's too high for them to even hit even Murray. It, it's completely useless against Bentley. Oh, besides if you're a, a higher plane than they are, in which case you will get hit in the face. But still, it always seems like a really w weird one, but I guess they just wanted one more attack and what was a good thing to use a mace for. Like, you really want to keep an eye out for when they start slamming them over and over again on the ground because that actually covers a pretty wide distance. Good thing only these guards are attacking us. I think if flashlight guards got into the fray, we'd be in big trouble. Oh, right. I think if I throw a guard into the corner... Yep, the searchlight minigun will actually shoot at them as well. You figured this thing would have an IFF, or if it's just trained to shoot any, like, organic being that gets into light. It seems like a really big design flaw to have a security system attack its own guards still, even like that. Like, okay, maybe the spikes are pressure sensitive, and that's why they keep going off every time I punch a guard into them. And this, of course, is a big red button, so it doesn't really have, like, a, a reason for it not to affect guards, but still. Eat that, you incarcerating suckers! Is that antisocial enough for ya? Oh, what? You gonna throw me in solitary? Bring it on! You know, I feel like he, even though Murray's going apart with a plan that Slime Bentley came up with, I feel like he could bench press those bars. Nothing can hold the Murray. All right, and with that, we automatically get booted back to the safe house because that technically counts as a Murray mission. So, while we're here, we might as well sell all the silver medals that we got, and we should not have enough to get Atlas strength. Great. All right, well, in that case, back out with Sly. We'll probably be able to get the Atlas strength after we grab all the treasures in the area. Or who knows, maybe I'll get lucky with some of the guards and actually get, like, some high-tier stuff. I'm surprised they did not hear that. All right, well, let's see. I think aside from the bridge one, every other mission's inside the prison walls. And like I said, I didn't really want to go inside the prison until I know for a fact we've gotten everything on the outskirts in the town. Ooh, you got something on you. Uh, you know what? I think there's a statue up there. I really don't want to risk it. I think in this case, let's just not get hit by the searchlight. And let's go this way. Let's see if we can find ourselves a way onto the walls because there are a couple of other areas that you can get glue bottles. Like the one outside the Contessa's house. Not gonna lie, when I went to the Contessa's house to do that mission, uh, or to get looking for clue bottles, I... Not gonna lie, it took me well over a half an hour going through this entire town trying to figure out where this last clue bottle was, and lo and behold, it was sitting on top of that pole. I guess I could also do the bridge mission. As much as I really like saving this one for last, it's right here. And I can always just make a run from the guards, if that's the case. Alright, first things first, though. Okay, you just come to me. Keep an eye out for the 
tank. There it is. How much do you think it'd probably cost her to have a battle tank just patrolling around her house alone? It's not even patrolling the prison grounds. It's literally just for her house. Uh, what's this mission? Close to Contessa. Mm, we could possibly do this one. I think this one's actually relatively around the area. Yeah, you know what? I say we stay close to the Contessa first, and then if we end up back in this area, we can possibly go do the bridge mission. Wait for that thing to go by. That way we can make our way over there and start the mission. Hello. you Aw, he's sleeping. Well, I'll let a sleeping bat lie. ourselves our 18th bottle and let's head down here and start the mission. To get at Murray, I'll need you to steal two tank keys and the tank patrol schedule off of the Contessa. No problem. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Since your escape, she never goes anywhere without bodyguards. You'll have to take them out one by one in order to get close to her. I should probably use noise to lure them away from the Contessa. Alright, so she's got two close following bodyguards. The Contessa actually moves faster than the guards themselves, so they actually do need to run a little bit to keep up with her. And seeing as how we don't really have a way to take them out silently, we're going to have to draw them away by other means. Such as... Alright, that's too far away. Such as this. Wow, he is really deaf. Wow, really? Come on, get over here. There we go. Uh, go over there real quick. Do you have anything good on you? No, you do not, so you must die. some clinking and it's drawing me up there but I can't really get it mostly because I have no way to get up to it oh wait there it is All right, let's see if we can lead this guy away toss that over there I think it might be too far yeah it is oh nope it still wasn't enough to get his attention granted with how annoying this alarm clock sound is I would probably be drawn to it as well Alright, that takes care of her first wave of bodyguards. Now we just need to make sure she does not spot us because this is actually a really easy way for her to spot you because she kind of like climbs up on this way so her vision will like peer to the left a bit. So if you're running down the tunnel, she will notice you easily. Or if you take too long, she'll loop herself back around and come back down the tunnel. Who goes there? Where... Where are my gods? It's a good thing Sly made himself scarce at that very moment because I feel like she would probably have a problem with Sly being literally right behind her. Alright, well, she decided to fly off to a new area, and of course that new area would be inside the prison itself. So we have to actually make our way into the interior walls. If I can grab this thing, there it goes. Gee, Sly. You know what? Let's get a bird eye, bird's eye view of the place. Come on, get out of here! Uh oh. Oh, spiders! I forgot these guys actually dropped them. bottle down here? Nope, just treasure. Could have sworn there was a bottle. Oh, there's one on the fence, though. So, I guess it kind of counts. 
Now this time, she actually upgraded her bodyguards from 2 to 3, and there's an easy way to get their attention, but first things first, you got a shiny in your pocket, and I want it. This also has higher risks because, well, there's also searchlights inside the prison walls that you need to take note of, because if they see you, they'll shoot at you, and if they shoot at you, then it's gonna bring every guard in here running towards you. Also the bats. Definitely look out for the bats. Actually, I wonder. I'm gonna test something real quick. I need to wait for the searchlights. Get up! Okay, well, it's a faster way of taking out guards. Tessa will see us if we if she actually takes one look at us and actually catches us then it's mission failure but I think we should be safe so long as we're up here Contessa is also kind of weird when it comes to this part of the mission. I've had multiple times in the past where I've taken other guards, even though it was stealthily, she actually came running to figure out, hey, what happened to my guards? Why, why are my guards gone? So you need to be really careful. Another way to get the guards' attention is to ring that bell right there. That'll actually make them come running, only if you don't have the alarm clock ability. <laughs> They're gone again. But another good alternative is to actually do like a ground pound attack that actually uh, has a sound range to it that you can use to actually uh, draw guards away from her. Ow, what did he even do there? Get out of here. I find it absolutely ridiculous that out of all the guards that have like height, height deaths, uh, the bats ones still have no concept of, oh wait, I'm a bat, I can fly. Oh no! Alright, well, we're almost done with the clue bottles, so I might as well grab the clue bottles that are still inside the prison walls. One is right over there that I cannot get to because I'm in a really bad spot. Okay, so hi. You might be wondering why I just randomly popped up in a completely different position. Well, I realized something was going on with the recording, so I actually had to stop and make a few fixes to it, but we should be good now. Now, we're still at the same uh, set of stuff we need to do. We still need to get the last tank patrol manual for, or the schedule from the Contessa, but there's still the matter of the clue bottles inside the prison walls. So to save me so many backtracking trips, because I know I'm gonna be doing that enough when I have to go for the treasures, I might as well just snag what's in here real quick. I still hear some clinking, which makes me think it's up there and it's actually up on top of this little watchtower area. Or it could be it. No, I think it's actually up on the watchtower area. I think it's like at the very back or top of it. Or it could be sitting right up there. Nope. Alright, let's try this again. Pop up over here. And I think. Oh, yeah, there is the little line that's up here that you can uh, run across. No, that's not it. Oh, there's the pole over there. Yeah, that wasn't going to make it. Alright, let's try this again. Clinking 
back there as well. I think that actually might be down along the base of the wall, so yeah, it's all the way down there. I'll save that for after this. Or I can just fall all the way down here. Thanks, Sly. That's, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Way to go. You're the master of thieves. Also, the master is slipping and falling. There's number 26. I don't think there are any other clue bottles along the walls. I think the rest of them are actually relegated to the bottom part along the base of the prison exterior, such as right here. not hearing any clinking anywhere nearby me, so I think what we should do is just make our way to the Contessa and grab that schedule. And of course, she's not going to make it easy for me because I think now she actually has four bodyguards following her. It may still be three. My memory of this mission is a little fuzzy. Okay, yeah, it's still three. I gotta admit, even though the draw distance for this place has been iffy at times, the draw distance for the Contessa herself and her bodyguards is pretty good. Being able to spot them from all the way up here. Where is that clue bottle? I hear it clinking. Is it actually up here? Possibly. Oh no, the multiple clinking. Alright, there's one right up there. Ah, there it is. Right there on top of the main gate. Ooh. Mm. Come on, Sly, you got this. Ooh. Whoa, what the? Come on, Sly, you got this. I know you do. Okay, maybe you don't got this. Let's maybe get a little bit more height. There we go. That's what I was ha That's what I had to do. Okay. I don't hear any more clinking, and we're only missing one bottle, which means I'm never gonna find it. Oh, I thought I heard clinking. All right. Well, might as well just make our way to the Contessa then. Who knows, maybe I'll come across the clinking on my way there. Just like I can hear it now. Where are you hiding? I hear you clinking, but where are you clinking from? Contessa, no, there's nothing there! Oh! I'm sorry, Contessa, but the bridge is out. I can hear that clinking, and it's driving me insane. Is it... No, it wouldn't be... Oh, there it is. Sitting right there under one of the towers. Way, so I might as well just head her off right up here. You know, it's not until you notice her walking by these buildings do you realize how big Contessa is compared to Sly, Bentley, uh, some of her guards. The only thing that really matches her, matches her is Murray and her flashlight guards. Speaking of which... D -d 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 Yoink! Uh, I hope I have enough. Alright, it's enough to get his attention, not enough to shock him. Come on, get his treasure. 
Silver. You guys never carry any gold stuff on you, do you? Let's get his attention. I think that might also get the... No, it's not getting guard's attention up there. Which, good for me, saves me the trouble. And, yep. and you're dead. Now, all that's left is the Contessa. So, we're just gonna creep up on her like this and grab ourselves a schedule. Doink! What, huh? Where are those lazy bodyguards? They're all fired! Great work! Now we're all set up to steal a day! You know, Contessa, if you didn't want people to know that you're a member of the Claw Gang, maybe you shouldn't have the tank schedule have the Claw Gang's logo on it. Just saying, that could be really, really unfortunate for her if someone who didn't know about her little secret was able to find that manual and be like, Oh, hey, this is the Claw Gang symbol. Why do you have this? You're not a member. You're a member of Interpol. Alright. Well, now that we did two missions, we still got three missions in the safe, so what I think I'm going to do, because uh, Prague is actually a bit different compared to the other levels in the game, seeing as how there's only like one prep stage and then the heist itself, I think what we'll do is I'll cut myself over to the Contessa's house and we'll just get whatever's inside the safe, and then we will probably call it for here. So I will see you all in just a little bit. Okay, so we're back here at the Contessa's house, and I have to admit, the location of the vault in this area is actually really ingenious. You, now, you see the house here? It was like the first mission that we did here in Prague, and you thought, oh, hey, there's a little back spot right here. I wonder what that is for. Well, you can climb in here as either Sly or Bentley, but only Sly really has a reason to be in here because Bentley can't open the vault. Because even though the door is completely destroyed by rubble, she probably should get that cleaned up a bit. Back here is the vault. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. That Contessa is smarter than I'd thought. I believe the code is 248. The long toss move is actually a really invaluable gadget to have in this mission, or in this level. Because, what it does, I think it, oh yeah, it doesn't actually even appear on Sly, it's actually a gadget for Bentley, but it's a gadget both Bentley and Sly share. What it does, as its name would imply, uh, the range of your thrown gadget is increased, so like, originally it was like, to right here, or it was like right here, now it's all the way back there. Which is really good, especially for a later mission in this area. Ah, oh, crap, there's a dead end. We can't get out now. We're trapped in here forever! Whew, it's a good thing we found our way out. Alright, well, as weird as it is to end it off in between missions and such, because I usually like to save these uh, end title moments for between briefings, Next time on Sly 2 Band of Thieves, we are going to head off to probably either go into the bridge or, eh, you know what, we'll go into, we'll go to the bridge because it's right there. We'll, uh, finish up the last of the missions here and then we make a plan to bust out the big guy. See you guys next time. Later.